In this video, I want to look at PHP a little bit further, and I want to introduce the idea of variables. So a variable is kind of just like a box to hold some information for us. So I'm going to go up to the top here, and I'm going to make a PHP block. And inside this PHP block, I'm going to make a variable. So in PHP, to create a variable, all you have to do is put a dollar sign and then name your variable. So let's call it name. So this is my new variable. And what I want to do now is make it equal to something. So I'll make it equal to my name, like this. So we just created a new variable. And to do so, we just name it and put a dollar sign in front of it. So variables always have dollar signs in front of them. So I have this name variable here. And it, again, it's just a container to hold some information. So in this case, it's holding the word Thomas. Now that I've created this name variable, I can use it in other places. So let's go down here and let's make a paragraph at the bottom. And let's write, my name is awesome. So that's the sentence that I want to create. But I want to use the variable. So in front of the word awesome here, I'm going to put a PHP block. And we looked at echo before to, to echo just these words out directly or the date. But we can also use echo to write out a variable like this. So now I'm echoing out the content of the name variable. So whatever is inside of name is going to get output right here. So let's go see how that works. And there we go. It says Thomas is awesome. Now you'll notice right here in the word Thomas and the word is, there's no space between them. So you may be wondering why there's no space, because there's a space right here, there's a space right here. But if we remember that all of this disappears, and the only thing that's left is the information that we output using PHP. And the information we're outputting is this variable right here, and it doesn't contain any space inside it. So what we probably want to do is just put a space right here between name and the is. And when we go back to the browser, you can see there is a space there. So let's try this out. Let's change the name here to John. All right, so now it says John is awesome. Or Barry, Barry is awesome. Dude, dude is awesome. So whatever we put inside of this variable right here, inside of this container, is getting output down here. We can use it as many times as we want. So let's create another, let's create a strong tag here. And let's echo out name again, like this. And there we go. So we echoed out name again. There it is, dude right there. So we're just using it in multiple places. Let's create another variable. Let's create the variable of age. So we'll make we'll set that to 30. So this variable here is a number. The other variable is a string. So whenever we have some sort of text or something like that, we call that a string. Text in PHP, strings in PHP, must be inside of quotes, and numbers shouldn't be inside of quotes. So I have another variable here, age, and it's a number. And with numbers, we can, of course, do math. So let's go down here, and let's adjust this strong here. So let's say something like, Thomas is going to be 35 in five years. So we're taking my current age and we're going to add on to it. So we already know that we're writing out the name. So now let's put is going to be some sort of age. So I'll just put sort of, uh, I'll just put age right here in five years. 
So we want to change this word age to be equal to this age variable plus 5. So I'll replace it with a PHP block and I can write echo dollar sign age plus 5. There we go. So let's go look in the browser. Dude is going to be 35 and 5 years. So whatever we change this year up to here, change it to 15, now it'll say dude is going to be 20 in 5 years. Or I can change the name up here to Thomas. So Thomas is going to be 20 in 5 years. So we're using these two variables and we're creating sentences out of them by combining PHP and we're manipulating them and echoing them out to the page.